guys welcome to another tip series or another tip from our beginner scrapbooking scrapbooker series my advice to a beginner scrapbooker so we've gone through four tips already and my tip number five is to know the reason why you're scrapbooking so you're probably thinking well why do I have to be too emotional when it comes to scrapbooking well um my thought is that you're going to get, as, as you go through your journey of documenting your life or preserving your family's memories, you're going to come to a point that there's going to be challenges. And it could be challenged as far as I can't quite put the story in words or I can't quite document the story. It could be um, I'm feeling uncreative, my mojo is gone. Or it could be that I'm feeling like I don't have enough products or the products that I have just doesn't match my vision for this page. So there's going to be times where you're going to have challenges. And for you to be able to be successful in your journey as a scrapbooker is you need to start or you need to have a mantra or the reason why you're doing it. So my reason for doing scrapbooking is so that I can preserve my family's memories. A little bit about me is um, I was born and raised in the Philippines and unfortunately my parents and my parents' parents, well I, I never knew any of my grandparents except one, um, my, my dad's mother. Um, so I, and I didn't really know her because she was living here in the States while we were living in the Philippines. Um, and I, as I was living in the Philippines, I did not know any of my ancestors. No stories of my great-grandparents or my great-great or whatever. I, don't, I didn't even know their names. And so for me, I felt that now that I know what scrapbooking is, which is documenting memories, I have learned that, or I, I told myself that from here on out, which is if you look at the pedigree chart or, you know, a family, a family, chart whatever that's called the family line chart um, if you look at that I felt like anybody that's after me from me on out on down that people will know who I am who I loved what I did how I lived my life so because I don't know anything beyond me that it's gonna stop with me so um, if I have great grandkids and so on and so forth they're gonna have those scrapbooks and they're gonna know beyond my name so they're gonna know me and and who I loved and all that good stuff so that is my why and the reason why I have that that is my mantra and that is the reason why I keep on doing this is because everything else that does not coincide or that does not help with me achieving my why just goes away that doesn't really matter there was a time, like I said in my previous video, that I was part of the industry. I was um, actively participating in some form of design team work or publication for six years. So there have been times during that six, six years where I was feeling low because either I was comparing myself with everybody else that's with you know that's doing what I'm doing, or that I felt like I was um, I was. I was not being authentic to why I'm scrapbooking or that there's been challenges where I just I, I wanted this job and I didn't make it and so you get you go through this like self-doubt like I'm not good enough type of thing and so I went through all of that but then when I remember why I'm doing this it's really just plain and simple for my family everything kind of goes away like um, my depression about not making the team or not being able to be published with this with this specific magazine they all just they don't really matter anymore because that does not coincide with my why and that is to preserve memories for my families and i'm not saying that you're going to go into the industry if you if you are good for you but if you're just doing this just for your own sake and for your family preservation you have to have the why now it could be it, it doesn't even have to be preserving your family's memories. Some people scrapbook because that is their, um, that is their therapy. Uh, they, or they scrapbook because they want to be artistic. They scrapbook because they love the products. Whatever your why is, hold on to that. Even write it down if you have to. But hold on to that because when you get through the challenges that any creative person goes through, 
It doesn't even have to be scrapbooking. If you're a creative person, you're going to go through challenges. And if you have that why, anything that does not um, connect with that why just doesn't matter anymore. So that is my tip number five. And I hope that I'm not too psychological with this one or emotional or whatever. And I hope that it, um, it helped you to figure out something deeper when it comes to scrapbooking. Um, I hope that you like this video. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you on tip number six. Bye guys.